The Geo series are Ibanez's most affordable, entry-level rock and metal guitars. I've got four of these beauties right here to find out whether they can still deliver the sound and playability you need. Let's get heavy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Corin, and I'm going to be using the GRX40, GRG140, GSA60, and GRG7221QA to explore this range. So first, I think it's a good idea to look at why Ibanez Geos are priced the way they are. Most of them sit between the 100 to 300 pound mark, making them much more affordable than higher range Ibanez guitars. But that doesn't mean that the craftsmanship has been sacrificed. Just look at these guitars. They look and feel amazing. And this one's even got seven strings. So let's take a look at how they've managed to make them within this price range. <laughs> Look at the pickups on these models, they are usually Ibanez's own stock pickups rather than branded ones, which helps to keep costs down, but without losing any of Ibanez's famed dynamic and responsive tonal properties. And they work really well for those driven tones. <laughs> when we look at the necks on these guitars, they are all made from maple which is a very common wood across the board for Geo Necks. In terms of fretboards, the woods range from rosewood to New Zealand pine, and there's a lot of Jatoba mixed in there as well. Although some of these woods are inexpensive, they certainly won't inhibit your playing. Quite the opposite. <laughs> The bridges and machine heads all tend to be Ibanez's stock units, which again keeps the price down but performance up. There are a few alterations to materials and manufacturing compared to more expensive models, but does this affect the sound or playability? Let's find out! So, why are Ibanez Geos such a good entry-level instrument? Well, an affordable Geo takes the pressure off your wallet while still giving you the Ibanez experience. These guitars are really robust and are built for rockers and metalheads. That means they can really take a beating and pack a punch. As you can see, they all feature at least one humbucker pickup, which is this fatter pickup here. This gives you a higher output, which equates to more volume and power in your riffs. This means you'll easily be able to get that heavy tone from the off, allowing you to get chugging straight away. Some models feature double humbuckers for that extra power, whilst others come with a humbucker and single coil mix, like this one here. Having this option opens them up to genres like blues and rock, increasing their versatility even further. This is going to be great for beginners who might want to play around with a few different styles. They sound great, but how do they feel? Well, they feel like an Ibanez. They've got all the classic Ibanez styling with the double cutaway body shape and savage aesthetics. The necks sit nicely in your palm and feel really comfortable which makes them easy to grip and play. Perfect for those fast playing styles where you want to race up the neck. <laughs> Tuning can often be an issue with cheaper guitars, but that's not the case here. That's largely because the Geos have decent bridges, which help keep the strings nice and stable. As you can see, some of them have tremolo systems as well, letting you add that classic rock and roll vibrato, as well as metal dive bombs, to really inject some spice into your playing. You'll even find some of these same bridges on Ibanez's mid-range models. <laughs> You 
probably wondering how these guitars hold up over time, especially if they're so affordable. You might be surprised to know that they'll probably last as long as any other pricier guitar. These are seriously well-made instruments that you'll be able to use for many years to come. If this is your first ever guitar, you probably won't need another one unless you decide to upgrade a few years down the line. So, great specs, a strong build, and excellent durability. Seriously, what's not to love? Hopefully, you've been able to see how you don't always have to spend a load to get some serious quality in your hands. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell me in the comments your experience of the Ibanez Geo series. I'll see you in the next one.